Okay, good morning. That was probably kind of boring for you watching me fix a uh, 461 cylinder. A fellow asked me how are you gonna fix it with the chrome flaking off. It was chrome was, I showed you at the beginning there, just on top of the exhaust port had a some chrome missing. Someone had ported this in the transfer ports, smoothed up the intake a bit, but never took that big lip of the, the ski jump out of the bottom of that intake port. So I just fixed this exhaust port. I just ported it higher to my spec with my jig that I use. And I've done absolutely hundreds and hundreds of 461s and they all work fine at my, the, my uh, porting that I do. So yeah, now it's got a nice exhaust port. There's no chrome or no chrome missing and aluminum showing that's gonna rub on the piston and, and erect a new piston. So yeah. That's what I do. I just poured it to my height and I was lucky enough that I got the port proper. So the chrome is back to where it should be. Okay. So yeah, 461, great saw. I believe we still have a few of these in stock. Um, those, those of you that don't like the new Amtronic stuff or auto tune. They've been a great saw for us. Uh, a lot of my friends run them, heated versions, non-heated versions. One of Stills, uh, good reliable units. You know, a guy can get a, a couple seasons out of these in the woods here, running a 32 inch bar. Some guys even run a 36 light, but I think that's a little much. They'll be running their 661s or their old 660s or their 390 Huskies. Hey, today I'm all decked out in Husqvarna. Yesterday I was the Still guy. I should be like uh, the poster boy, eh? It's like, what's that dude uh, used to be on TV, kids show? Used to the Mr. Dress Up, eh? Yeah, Mr. Dress Up. So yesterday I was dressed up as still. Today I'm dressed up as Husky. Maybe Echo tomorrow, eh? See how it goes, guys. Maybe I got a hoodie at home or a hat I could wear. Anyways, just wanted to show you that there, buddy. Another fella sent me an email asking about the 394, or not 394, but his um, Pulse Pulse. On the on a uh, certain motor, I, f I forget what motor it was. But let me just show you what I meant there, buddy. You got normally you got the the carburetor, you got the insulator block, right? And then you got your carb gasket. So wherever your pulse hole is on your carburetor, you want the little hole in the gasket to line up. If it's an internal 
uh, pulse hole system, right? And some of the insulator blocks uh, or carb blocks will have like a channel in it. So the, the hole from the carburetor gasket goes into that channel, through the channel, then down to the hole of the cylinder. You see how this one? There's your carb one up here, and it goes through a channel down to this one on the cylinder. Same as that picture you sent me on the on the email. If you don't understand that, I'll try to do it a little better for you. I just didn't have the right stuff here sitting here right now. I just randomly just talked about that. So anyways, yeah, I'm just got this cylinder done. I'm gonna take this into the, the other shops so Sam can put back together for the customer. And then I'm gonna uh, come back and port these two 357s, the 346 and um, a old school 372 non-X torque. Anyways, keep your saw on the wood, stick and ash rubber in the road. Have a great week. It's still a little nasty outside here. Uh, we're supposed to get some better weather around Sunday and the next week's supposed to be warmer. Come on spring, show up. Get the flowers growing, the trees going, lawns growing. So everyone has to go start their lawnmowers that don't start and they'll be bringing them. Then we'll have lineups of lawnmowers and weed eaters because everyone left gas on them and didn't do them right or start them up once in a while. So go out, check out your lawnmower or your weeder. If it doesn't start, put fresh fuel on it. If it doesn't start, put a little bit of gas down the carburetor, see if it'll start and keep choking it, see if it'll run before you make a decision of taking it in somewhere. If you don't want to take it in somewhere, send me a question. I'll try to help you out with it. Have a great day. Check out the walkersawshop.com online store. Way to go, Tin Man is 40,000 subs or whatever. I'm almost hit 10,000. Hopefully, maybe I'll hit that next week uh, when I do some more videos. So, hey, have a great day. See you later.